Welcome to section three. Section three, we're going to be talking about lists and tables. So, what are H two O tables? The tables are very similar to an Excel or other spreadsheet type of document. Um, tables are a great way to organize data into a tabular form. Tables help you see and process a great deal of information in a summary that's readable and efficient. Tables are also a great method to compare and contrast different types of data. Now at one time tables were used for the design and layout of web pages which is now considered very bad practice. You should use CSS to format any type of design or layout. Anything like sidebars, headers, footers should all be done using CSS styling. Okay so here I've created the basic building blocks of a table. Um, this is the bare minimum. There are some other tags such as um, T head, T body, T footer if you want prominent headings in each row uh, and so forth. But this is what's needed to produce a table. Um, and you'll see we, it uses HTML tag syntax just like everything else, else we've discussed. Um, I have an image here that represents what this code would display on a web page. So you'll see at the top we have the opening table tag and the closing table tag at the bottom and in between there we have some TR tags which is table row okay now we have three sets of table row tags and we have three I apologize for this being off-center it's just a it's just a um, quick representation um, so you'll see we have three table rows one two three and in each table row we have three TD tags which is a, a table column but TD stands for table data I know it would be more helpful if it was TC but it's TD so <clears throat> you can see here we have three columns as well so that's that's pretty much the the basic building blocks that you need to create an HTML table and in the next project uh, we'll be doing more advanced um, tags and syntax. So now let's talk about lists. Um, lists are used to group together related pieces of information which tables also do. Um, lists are recommended for smaller amounts of data. Um, if you have hundreds and hundreds of, of records then a table would definitely be the way to go. Um, if you want to display I don't know a list of websites on your site then you would use a list. Lists are also good for ranking data. Um, we have unordered lists and then we have ordered lists which include the numbers. Each each item would have a number so it, it works out well for uh, ranking data, different types of data. Lists are also used for design and layout formatting. Um, a list most of the time, it's probably 90% 90, 90 of the time, um, a web developer will use a list for a menu. Uh, most menus you see are unordered lists or even ordered lists. Even the menus that are, are horizontal, they're just styled to, to look a certain way. So lists are, work out very well for design and layout formatting. Even images, uh, a lot of times I'll have uh, a set maybe of three images I want displayed across a website and I'll put each image inside of a list and I'll just float it and it'll it's a nice uh, horizontal layout of images so it can be used for many different types of uh, layout and formatting. So here we have a layout of the list syntax which is very simple it's uh, a lot easier than a table there's a lot less uh, to it so we have two types of lists here. We have an unordered list and an ordered list. And the only difference between these two is an ordered list has numbers and an unordered list has bullets. Um, you can remove them. You can remove the bullets through CSS styling if needed. Um, and it's pretty much uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, there is one other type of list, which is a definition list, which allows descriptions for each item. Um, I'm not going to get into that right now, but these are the most common, uh, well, unordered lists are the most common. This is what you would use for uh, any kind of horizontal menu or, or anything like that.